on top of real estate that I had already gone out and bought. I mean, this is the stuff that fascinates me right here. Like, I had to get something pinned where I could buy a half a million dollars of real estate. You really got a problem with that, Jordan Bell. <laughs> no, 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 it's not really about him. It's about, it's about elevating the thing. Uh, it's about sure, elevating sure, sure, sure. Because I was stuck in that, I was stuck in this little thing for a long time. Yeah. And, and it's like, when am I going to elevate my game so I'm having fun to, to the same level of my potential so that I'm excited about life? That's what keeps people looking young. Who, who taught you and, and got you to the point where you're good at social media? Because when I uh, there's a huge disconnect between the older entrepreneur, CEO, CMO workforce and understanding what drives on social. Yeah, should, How did you get there? I should not understand it. I, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, like you, you shouldn't. Watch, so the I, fact, watch, I watch guys like you guys doing your deal. And I'm watching your podcast today and say, God damn, I'm missing that. I'm missing this piece and that piece. And so, like, we use no sponsors. We have no sponsors in any of our stuff. Wow, well, shit, have sponsors. Who run, you don't run your media now, do so you? Do you have media? Yeah. Oh, you do. Yeah. You run it all in house? We run it all in house. Oh, it's probably your stuff. You know. I think your ability to adapt probably plays a massive part of your success. Do you agree? Could be. Because, like, this, this is actually crazy. Dude. When you when you said that, I was like, no, I don't. What's 61? Like, think about the boxing coach, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he still doesn't even know how to record. <laughs> he's, he's still, he's still, he's still, he's still <laughs> eats peanut butter and jelly. So yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. I have only. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no idea. No more social media. And you, I mean, you got the, you got the, the text on the top and bottom, italicizing some words. Like, oh, you, got, you, got, you got quotes. Yeah. If it's a good deal for everyone except you, it's not a good deal for anyone, Greg. Love it. Back of the head, just looking out over a sea of smart entrepreneurs. Were you affected by the 2008 real estate crash? <laughs> Helped me so much. R really? Changed my life. Helped you. Changed my life. Ruined my dad. I would not be here if it was not, was not for the call. Literally ruined my dad's life. Ruined his life. Yeah. So how, did, how did you, it help you? Because I was sitting there getting my life fucking handed to me. Every I had two businesses that were failing. They were cut in half. The real estate was frozen. Couldn't sell it. Couldn't move anything. Yeah. Uh, had a $60 million lawsuit hit me the same fucking week Lehman collapsed. Woo. And um, what was the other thing that was going on? Oh, oh we had a baby come. Like, I'm like, I, everything's coming at us. Like, yeah, like yeah, every, yeah. When, it, when it rains, it, like, it that's how life works. Like, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was looking at this thing saying, okay, I fucked up big time. That's where, we're, yeah. where I wrote uh, the connection. Uh, During how that, how do I get out of this deal? How do I get out? Oh, damn, dude. Well, how'd you get into the deal first? You got to ask yourself, well, how did I get into this deal? 2008 was not the issue. I always knew that everybody knows there could be a class. There's gonna be another one. Yep. How did I get it? soon, right? Oh, it's, yeah, we're it's probably in it right I, now. I heard, I heard it's like right around the corner. Probably in but not, but not real estate though. The, 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 well, that's a, that's a, that's another conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'm like, hey, how do I get myself out of it? How did I get myself into it? And I'm like, oh, dude, you never thought big enough. You would not think you did. I had a business making a couple, of three million bucks, four million bucks a year. I was sitting on, I don't know, eight or ten million dollars in cash, and I, I, I didn't have the money working. And then, and then when, they, when, this, when this thing happens, and then the next one's going to come, it's going to crush so many people because you don't have your cash ready. The money's not working. You're not in recession-proofed vehicles. And, and so, what was the what was the mortgage debt? So, so, yeah, go ahead. Well, let yeah. me just finish this one thing. So, so, so what happened was I realized nobody knew me. Like you, you, you guys will be in such a great position because who wins the war when the recession happens is who's best known and who can deliver. The 